Hey guys, what's up? I do have apologize here. I am running a few minutes late. I had a major, major migraine this morning. Probably one of the worst I've ever had so far in my entire life. Um, we're going here. Um, I, I, my internet looks okay at the moment. I'm just trying to scramble to get my uh, my show together here. Uh, but at least we're live here, guys. We're good to go. Uh, we're going to get uh, the game loaded up here and get to go in. Hey, if you're trash, hey everybody, how you doing? What is up? It is good to be here. Uh, so, back to Settlers Mod today. I can't wait to do um, Cast Miranda. So once again, guys, I do want to thank you all for being here. Um, I do thank you all for having a little bit of thick skin when I do a little bit of rants and stuff sometime. As you could, I had a little bit of a post this morning and I heard a few feelings, which um, I knew was going to happen. But I just want to clarify you guys why I'm here as a content creator. I'm here because I like making content, I like playing games, and you guys happen to enjoy watching me at the same time, right? I'm not here to be a content creator with a million and a half subs that does, um, you know, whatever is trending. I want to enjoy my life. I don't want to be pressured to do stuff I don't want to do. And this was a passion. Uh, whoops, I'm, where's my volume here? Do I not have it on? Oh, I had my headset plugged in properly. See? See what I'm doing? But yeah, I'm just here to have a good time, guys. I'm here to have a good time with you. Uh, and that's all we're going to do. Um, if that means um, losing a few subs, then that means losing a few subs, right? Uh, the ones who stick behind are actually the really cool ones. Um, hey, Snoop Dogg, what's up, man? Hey, Mark, how you doing? Hey, Revaneth, how are you? Here we go. Uh, made it to a mo our YouTube stream. Hey, uh, Morniel, welcome, welcome. Have you seen The Punished? Um, I've seen um, The Punisher on on, Twi or on um, Twitch. Great show, by the way. Okay. I'm trying to get my stuff together here, guys. One second here. I got to get a Streamlabs together. I had to restart my computer literally like a minute before the stream. I was like, uh-oh. Freaking Windows updates, guys. I tell you what. Those good old Windows updates. Okay, so I got to get my Streamlabs up so I know what's going on here. Here we go. Where am I logged in? Okay. Can I hear anything? Yep, I can hear things. Cool. Can you guys hear things? Um, that's what's actually important. No, I don't have my camera on, guys, at the moment. No, you can't. Um, I don't have my camera on um, at this exact moment. Just like I said, I had a little bit of a migraine this morning. So um, I, I kind of look like hell. I'm feeling fine, but I look like hell. So, uh, whoa, we're all over the place here with this mouse. Okay, okay. One more second here, guys, and we are good to go. Uh, so while I'm doing this here, guys, you guys have any questions, any comments, any concerns, definitely let me know. Uh, you can't hear nothing. Yeah, I just fixed it for you. Uh, first get nice says, uh, haters will um, hate. You're awesome. Uh, that, that's cool, dude. Yeah, no, I realize that. Um, the reason I do that every once in a while is a lot of people are like, oh, that's bad business. But honestly, why I do it is just to get rid of the whiners, right? Um, usually that's enough to piss them off and then they're gone and then they don't cause any more trouble on the channel. They just kind of move on. Um, I'm here to just pretty much do what I want. Um, if you guys are along for the ride, that's cool. If you're not, that's cool too, right? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Hey, David, what's up? I always look like hell. Oh, man. Well, when I get my... Uh, they're not head migraines. They're abdominal migraines. Um, so I, I end up feeling, like, extremely nauseous. I don't actually vomit. But it's it feels like being extremely sick for, like, three hours straight, but not being able to get sick. And then it moves up to your head, and it draws all the energy out of your body. Like, my eyes are probably black down to my nose right now. Um, that's how rough it is. Oh, shoot! It's Horde Night! Damn it! Totally forgot about that. Good thing I didn't stand here doing any or doing nothing. Holy crap! I forgot we're gonna start this one out with Horror Night. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get on top of my uh, my building here so I don't get owned. Ah, uh, I have some junk on me too. Damn it. We'll get rid of some of that. Here we go. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we'll get rid of the can. We have bullet casings. Definitely not gonna get rid of those. Holy crap! I didn't realize it was Horror Night. Just sitting there, letting time pass. I'll be sitting up in my upper base and have everything smashed. Uh, Kim says, can you do a season of Ark? Um, Kim, I, I did attempt Ark, and honestly, I'm a player that likes playing um, the game, like, legit, right? And um, fast-forwarding on Ark, really, to me, is just, um, like, not, not playing the defaults, like, going, like, 10 times speed and stuff. It's, it's just not fun to me. So I just, I couldn't really get into Ark. I tried, but I found it incredibly frustrating. And um, you could tell in my videos that I was frustrated with the game. And it just doesn't turn out to be a good video when you're playing a game you're not you're frustrated with, right? 
And to me, it's, screw that. I don't want to play a game I'm frustrated with. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, guys. We didn't spider-proof this place. This could have been... Uh, this could have turned out bad. We got to do some real rush in here. I didn't realize... Did I log out this close to Horde Night last time? Oh, my goodness. It's been a little while. Same arc is not my type. Yeah, see, the, the way I am, guys, is if a game makes me rage quit, I don't play that game. Um, I have enough to deal with in, like, real life that, that keeps me going. You know what I mean? That keeps me frustrated and competitive and keeping going. Um, I just, I don't have the want to do that in video games. Um, although I do play PvP, like we're playing Lords Mobile, and that's competitive. But at the same time, I'm not going to rage quit that game because, well, I'm not investing money in it, so... Um, investing money would make me rage quit, uh, for sure, but, okay. Okay, we should be pretty good for spiders here, I think. But yeah, no, Arts, it's, it's not a bad game. Um, I'm not a big fan of the developers, and I just, I don't know, it's just not my style of game. I don't like random chance being hawked off as hard. Um, to me, Art could have done so much more with the game than they did. Um, stuff like um, Raptors, that's always frustrating me. Raptors hunting by themselves and eating everything in sight. They, they don't do that. Um, raptors, like, group up together and corner you, right? They're smart. Um, T-Rexes will come through and, like, eat up your whole entire area of, like, dinosaurs and stuff. Um, that's what I didn't like about it either. Uh, the only reason I don't accept that from a game like Ark, um, but I let things slide on a game like Seven Days, is because Ark has the capability of doing it. It's... Um, it's a static world, so they have a lot more resources to work with, as opposed to where, like, seven days to die, most of the resources are just put into having a voxelized world, a world that you can uh, change and do anything you want to at any point in time. And that's what drove me to second, seven days, because seven days probably would have been a fun playthrough a couple times if you couldn't destroy the world. I would have gotten bored of it very fast, though, right? Because you, you get everything, and then that's it, right? It's like, oh, I got everything. What do I do now? Seven days, I can let my um, artistic side come out, right? I can start building stuff. Like, I, I love, um, um, oh, my God. I can't even remember the name of it right now. Uh, wow. Houses and stuff. I like houses. Uh, architecture. There we go. That was a word I was looking for. Architecture. Big words today, guys. All right. What's up, zombie? Now you're a grave. <laughs> He likes the game, sounds lower during streams. You may turn them up during a hard night. Are, are they really, really low? Um, I usually... Uh, okay, I'll turn them up a little bit, guys. But honestly, it's really hard to he hear me when you get a whole bunch of zombies piling in on a hard night. Um, that's why I usually turn the game volumes down while I'm on this. Um, two, I was also recording on PS4, so I have to turn down my game sounds when I'm on there. Big words for my little brain. <laughs> yeah, streams are a little bit different than my videos, guys. Like, I like making videos. Video videos are fun to make. But honestly, when you just make videos all the time, you don't feel like you have a community. Um, when you stream, you get to hook up with that community. And it brings that community feel back, right? And that, that's what I'm trying to do lately. And, um, yeah. And it, it's working. It's working big time. Uh, we're getting a community back together. My Discord's coming back. Uh, Lord's Mobile blew up. Um, and even my Seven Days community, which Seven Days is really slow right now, is starting to come back. Um, I find if I'm just making videos and stuff, I, I become detached from you guys, and you guys become detached from me, right? At that point, I'm just a dude who makes videos. At least here, I can, I can talk to you guys, have a conversation, you know, we can do stuff live. It's way less pressure for me. Making videos right now on YouTube, guys, is not, is not a fun time uh, for people who are trying to make a lot of money. It's, I'm still making enough, but it's not a fun time. It's stressful for everybody. Hey, madame, what's up? Hey, Cage, what's up, dude? Yeah, Cage knows what it's like right now. Um, Cage knows what it's like to stream, too. Cage, you stream, what, twice a week now? Twice a week now. I uh, I gotta watch. Oops, I have my stream running on the background here. I have um, okay. Do you know if you get to stick around, you get to see one of the uh, the early hard nights on Settlers mod, man. It's not a great time on YouTube, that's for sure. Yeah, we've been um, I've haven't been having some struggles here lately. Like I'm kind of I'm kind of considering just uh, switching to a full streaming platform, honestly. 
uh like videos for the amount of time they take to make i can stream for the amount of time still have the same amount of success but still have a community all the deal so yeah yeah we're we're in a weird position here no ammo where'd my ammo go for oh i don't have ammo for this okay so it looks like we're using rocket launcher for some bombas a whole bunch of arrows and some nine millimeter rounds and once again guys if you're just joining i do apologize i don't have my camera on uh because of that migraine this morning i literally look like a skeleton right now well how does it how do i look i don't look like a skeleton i i look like someone who's been on a drug recovery for three days you know what i mean i, I, I look pretty haggard i love your streams when i catch them and if you guys haven't done so yet, uh, give that Cage guy a follow. He's uh, he makes a lot of videos as well too. Uh, very talented video maker. He's uh, he's one of the long term guys. He's been around since Alpha One, right? Cage, Alpha One, I think. Yeah, Alpha One. I remember watching your Alpha One videos because when I did my little Alpha One thing, I kind of wanted to see what it was all about. So yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, stream is less stressful than editing. It's less stressful. Um, you don't have to rely on advertisers for your income for the most part. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's a lot better. I think a lot more healthy right now for me to stream than it is to try to keep fighting YouTube and its algorithm right now. Cause it, it has no problem suggesting my streams to people, but try to release a video. And if 90% of your, um, subscribers don't click it right away, it doesn't get suggested. Oh, what's up? Here we go. Party's on guys. They're incoming. There we go. See that one with the color? Uh, let me know if this... This is so loud. Um, let me know if the um, in-game sounds are too loud, guys. I'll, I'll turn them down a little bit. Because this gets noisy when it starts happening. So, no special zombies yet. That's a good sign. Uh, when you get a bomb buff first thing on Horde Knight, you know you're in for a run, right? Uh, all Lit's players are hurting at the moment. Yeah, YouTube's really punishing the Let's Play um, division. It really is. And uh, a lot of my viewers have been having a problem with that lately. And we've been kind of in a, like a really weird position. So there we go. Awesome. But as my viewers know me, I'm blunt. I really don't give a shit. I'll just say what's ever on my mind. Here we go. Bam. All right. You guys, you know what? Come in here. Come in here. Here we go. Let's, why am I fighting you on the edge? I could be fighting you guys out here. All my spikes gone too? Hey. Hey. Actually, I need those guys to remove my floor for me. Whoa, no! Oh, I forgot about the, the climbers. Okay, apparently he cannot get to the ladder, so that's good. Um, he's getting stuck on it. Holy crap, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something else about that ladder since um, some zombies can climb. Oh boy. All right, what do we got going on here? Are we at max? Okay, we're good. I'm gonna take out my handgun now and start clearing some of these guys out. Here we go. Um, now, these guys with the color on their head, they'll actually let you know what your game stage is. So, since they're bright green, I'm actually between game stages 1 and 1,000. Um, the way my Horde Knights work is uh, the higher your game stage, the harder the zombies. Um, so, the zombies level as your game stage is level. Here we go. Now, you can check your game stage, of course. If you just go to your menu and type in game stage, bam, it'll tell you my game stage is currently 226. And holy crap, you asshole. Did you guys see that? He didn't, he can't shoot through the bars? Really? I thought he could shoot through the bars. He should be able to. What's up, buddy? Shoot through the bars. Come on. Whoa, holy crap. Okay, maybe he can't shoot through the bars. I'm going to have to look into that. He's supposed to be able to. He can shoot through, um, he can shoot through everything else. Why can't he get through the iron bars? Huh. All right, let's start taking these guys down. Um, on Settlers Mod, guys, aim for the headshots. Zombies take headshots. Whoa. We have a leprechaun in the house. <laughs> I'm sure he'll make his way inside here soon enough. Um, I also removed crawlers from the game because, uh, fuck crawlers. Especially on Horde Knights. They take up your um, your max spawn and get stuck on stuff. Holy shit! Did that just take out a block? It did too. Where are you? Where are you, little asshole? There you are. Yeah, you can't get me when I'm on these things. Come here. Holy fuck. These guys are tough as balls too. They will do a lot of damage. Come here, buddy. There he is. Oh, we got a uh, feral cop. Nice, nice. Um, a lot of people mistake this as a radiated cop. This is actually a feral cop. 
Um, they actually don't do that much damage. Holy crap. Is Pam playing with, um, oh no? Oh. Yeah, I am. Man, I haven't even had time to watch my friends lately. Just, I've been trying to, like, figure out what to do here. Buy them. Oh my god, is that a leprechaun? Yes, Scan, that would be a leprechaun, dude. Um, what I've done is um, they do a lot of block damage as well, so um, watch out for those guys. Um, I've added several different challenges to Horde Knight, like range challenges, and uh, there's little like there's a mini boss now called Bomba. Um, she will come and blow a hole in your wall um, if you don't take her down fast enough. Okay, what are you doing under there, bud? There we go. No! Head! <laughs> I can't hit his head worth a shit! And he's got like the biggest head out of all of them. Come here, buddy. There we go. There we go. Oh, I just got a um, the funeral director on this account. Nice. What are we at now? 1,000? Oh, we just cracked 1,000 kills. That's sick. We're uh, going for 30,000 in this playthrough. Die, you stupid dog. Uh, the bean? The bean always turns you off? Cassie? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I wish I had my webcam on right now. Maybe I'll do a stream later. I'll probably feel better later and then I'll um then I'll have my cam. I, I get a lot of people don't like watching streams either that um have no webcam on them. There we go. Are there some outside? I hear some outside smashing away. What's going on, guys? What's up? Come on in the inside. Come here. Come over here. I'm, I'm in here. There we go. There we go. Welcome, guys. Okay. <laughs> I can't hit these guys with a shit right now. There we go. One's down. Uh, this one here, too. If they do see the colored hair, that means they're a climber, by the way. Oh, my God. What's up, dog? Come here. There we go. Let's get rid of you. Um, I did bring dogs back in the Horde Knights a little more as well. And uh, nerfed dogs in the Outer World a little bit. Come here, buddy. I think I overbuilt my Horde base for Day 28. Um, unless we get a Bomba. I would actually like to get a Bomba and have her explode in the middle and take out a lot of the floor for me. That would actually be really really nice that would be fantastic okay now the one thing i do like about the ai they changed this actually in alpha 15 they used to um cage you probably remember this they used to run and just stand underneath you when you did this um at least on alpha 15 when they did this they, they run around now and they're a little bit harder to hit of course there we go oh i want to clear these guys out real fast you know what are we loaded are we loaded? Oh, did I bring my Molotovs? Oh, I forgot my Molotovs. Damn it. Molotovs would have been great for this. There we go. Oh, I just got Survivalist off of that, too. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, problem is this, they don't attack the walls and pillars that hold you up. Yes, uh, Cage, that is 100% a thing, man. Um, what I did to bat battle that uh, dude is is actually Bomba. Uh, hopefully we do get a Bomba tonight. Um, Bomba's a lower chance. He's like a mini boss. I don't have bosses in yet. Um, they'll probably come in Alpha 17 most likely. Um, I don't have the bosses in yet, but she's a mini boss. She will take out that pillar um, if you let her. Uh, what happens with the Bomba is she'll come in, and if she cannot reach you, um, what she'll do is she'll light her fuse. And uh, she'll actually just light herself on fire, and then a countdown will happen. You have about 20 seconds to take her out uh, before she explodes. So if she's on fire, um, you have max 20 seconds to take her out. It's actually a lot of fun. I've watched some people stream it, and they're like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. And it, like, literally, like, took out, like, a third of their base. It was so much fun to watch because uh, they had everything supported by one pillar, and they hit the pillar and took it out. And bam, it all went down. It was so funny to watch. <laughs> it's such a troll with this mod. Oh, I wish I had an AK or something for this. This would be a lot easier. Okay. Since, since you're standing there. Come here.
Down for the count. Down for the count. Come here, you. There we go. Nice. Nice. Oh, and uh, the other thing I did too, because this is also a mod that you can play on multiplayer, is I, I nerfed the ability to, uh, to duplicate using corpses. Um, as you can see, I, I did a whole different drop system. It's actually gravestones. They're a little harder to find when you kill the zombies because um, they will uh, mask into the landscape too, but with the zombie headshots. You know, make it work for it a little bit. Uh, but you can't duplicate in them. They, they break as soon as you uh, let go of it. Because duplication pisses me off too, especially on multiplayer servers. Yeah. That's fair, a lot of people feel that way. <laughs> That's true. I think webcam is great for streams and not for YouTube. Yeah, because for me, making a video is about the game. Uh, streaming is more about reaching out to my community and catching up with you guys. So yeah, I completely agree with Paige on that one. That's why I've never done the cam in my videos. And on top of that, I'm not a reaction guy, you know what I mean? I just, I don't do reactions. Um, usually my reaction is just a bunch of silence and then, and then, uh, and then usually a swear word like fuck or shit. Or damn it. Or because I'm Canadian, it is what it is. You know, either or. Okay, this is getting a little boring actually. Bam, there we go. Let's uh let's see if we can't get down there. Oh, there's a fucking thing blocking my way. Let's destroy it. I can't. Okay. Well, looks like I'm not going down that way. Or getting back up that way either. Come on, guys, destroy my floor. Yeah, I should be bringing them over here so they can destroy my floor for me because I got to put in a concrete floor. And the more they do this, <laughs> the least effort it is for me using the zombies to do my work for me. Uh, I've seen Joel's preview for Alpha 17. Sorry, I'm really excited for Alpha 17. Um, in my opinion, the fun pimps, I think, learned from Alpha 16 and... Um, the team uh, matured a lot and honestly guys you can see it if you watch alpha 17 the game looks mature like the game's really maturing i'm really excited for alpha alpha 17 uh more so than i was uh 16. uh yeah the gary the graves give uh bones um fat and um uh, the, i'm sorry the groves give the graves give bones fat and anything else i would normally drop off of a zombie body yeah, that's, um, we thought about that one too, so I was like, you know what, what about bones and stuff? And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's a good point, because you're not able to, um, use the bodies, right? Um, but a lot of people, they like this mod, because it works with EAC, and you can run it on a server, and not have to worry about getting hacked, right? There we are. Oh, yeah, look at that, they're dropping like flies now. Damn it! Come on. Head. There we go. Where's that dog? He must be outside. I can't believe we didn't get any specials tonight. We got such an easy Horde Knight. Figures. Oh, and my Horde Knights are random too. They're not all the same. Like, you never expect the same Horde Knights, guys. Um, some Horde Knights, you'll start off with like three Bombas and they will come and open it up right off of you. And then other Horde Knights are a little bit easier. I literally went through Cage and custom did every single game stage, man. Every single game stage is different. Uh, so you never ever get the same Horde Knight. Um, that's that's what that's what I got. Oh, holy shit! Oh my God, it's a Murphy! Go Murphy! Yeah, Murphy! <laughs> I don't know if you watch um if you watch um, Z Nation at all, uh, Cage, uh, but it's a Murphy that shows up on Horde Knight. Very very rare, and he comes and helps you kill zombies. Yay! We finally got a Murphy. Oh crap! Wow, was not uh, planning for that. Here we go. Here we go, come at me, bro. Managed to make it up the ladder. I was watching the Murphy fuck these guys up. That's awesome. Go, Murphy! Yeah! <laughs> He's yelling at them, too. I can't wait to do, like, custom sounds and stuff. Eventually, we'll get into that with the mod. Get him, Murphy! Get him, buddy! <laughs> the swears. That's all he does is swear. Oh, Murphy! Oh, he's, he's, eating a, he's eating a zombie. Murphy. That's not cool, dude. Okay, I don't want to kill the Murphy until the end of Horde Night. He actually drops the cure. And I, wa I want to see if we can get the cure off of him. Because it's good for broken legs and shit. See, that was our special for tonight. We got a Murphy instead of a Bomba. <laughs> Come on. 
Where is he? Oh, he's still in there fighting the zombies. Awesome, Murphy. Give her down, buddy. Murphy is hungry. He is hungry. Hey, Powerplay. How are you doing, man? <laughs> uh, what do you think of the Ravenhurst mod? It's, it's, it's cool. Um, it, it's, uh, I haven't really looked too much into it, to be honest. Um, th th I just, there's some stuff I just don't enjoy playing. Like, if it doesn't work smoothly, I don't, I don't enjoy it. That, that's just, I don't know. It's just my personal preference, but, um, from what I've seen, people generally like it. Um, I don't know how it is for, like, challenge and, and all the other crap. Um, but it's spooky. They definitely did put some sounds in. Um, holy crap. Come on, guys. Keep, keep actually coming over this way and, and peeling my floor back for me, please. Thank you very much. Okay, what time is it? 309? Wow, not a single... Well, we got a special, but it ended up being a Murphy. So we got help on tonight, Fortnite. All right, here we go. Look at this pile of, like, heads over here. Hey, Cage, did you ever get used to shooting this thing, man? I cannot seem to hack this thing at all. I'd have to... I have to drop starvation, and I, I like starvation. Yeah, that's the thing, too, is a lot of people don't realize... Having 20 different playthroughs at one time on your channel is not a good thing. Um, it, it's called soaking, right? Um, that's why, like, I generally try to keep the two playthroughs at a time as well. Like, I'll do my PS4 or my, um, my PC. Um, I'm actually really considering, um, ending my console content, to be honest. There we go. Does Murphy attack blocks? No, Murphy just attacks zombies, dude. Uh, Murphy is just here to help you out on Horde Knight. Where is he? There he is. He's beating up on that guy. Here he is. Um, the Murphy will not attack you either. Um, but you can kill the Murphy and get the cure. Starvation might be too much. Uh, honestly, the real reason I never did starvation myself was just I felt it was too much of them just throwing content in with very little balance. I haven't played it this time around, but I did try it out last time around, and that's actually what made me decide to do my old mod, own mod, is because you gotta have balance. That's to me one of the most important things in the game is balance. And um, honestly, 90% of my time with Settlers mod was playing, uh, play testing and balancing it. Uh, from what I've heard, it, it it seems pretty balanced, like equal um, equal effort for equal reward type deal. Oh shit! Stop destroying my uh, pillar, guys. Why doesn't the front pimps do the same things for PC and console? Uh, pretty much, uh, pretty much a reason, dude. Why you can't drive a Lamborghini um, like you can drive? Um, like, I'm sorry, you can't drive a smart car like you can drive a Lamborghini, dude. That, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, they just have so much more ability to do things on PC than they do console. Um, console, man, they can't just throw us an update, dude. They have to go through an approval process. Um, it has to be working. Uh, they can't throw experimental stuff. Like, electricity would never fly on console right now. I can guarantee you Sony and Microsoft would be like, no, you are not putting that on a console and um, breaking it. Um, that's the reason why, dude. Don't blame the fun pimps. It's the console environment itself. Oh, I almost, I almost shot at Murphy. Here we go. Um, it's very hard for console developers um, to develop. It's not an easy platform to work on. Damn it! If people want me to play Ravenhurst and I would have to drop something and Starvation would be it. Um, are your Starvation uh, videos getting views, Cage? Like, it, it, it's, it's to the point now on YouTube where you can't branch out at all. Because as soon as you have one video that gets lower amount of views, um, the next video gets punished like crazy. No matter if it's, like, in a series that actually gets views. Um, it's almost like YouTube is turning itself into Vine. Literally, it's turning itself into Vine. Unless you're extremely trending, uh, you're not going to get suggested. Um, that's what all the Let's Players are finding, right? Because Let's Plays don't trend. Let's plays don't trend at all. Like, um, I actually had a let's play trend. That's wrong, actually. I had a let's play trend. Um, but it's very rare for let's play to actually trend. Um, tutorials trend. Um, One-off videos, like blowing up a skyscraper or something, that can trend. But let's plays just do not. Uh, so I've been considering maybe going back and doing some more tutor tutorials and crap. too. Oh, it's 4.30. What am I doing? Let's get down there and uh, kick some ass. 
Wow, I actually didn't take that much damage tonight. That's good, though. That's good. That's really good. And you guys gotta remember, it's only day 28, too, so... Um, I don't think I've reached pack, or past my 30 max yet. There we go. Thank you very much, Murphy. Thank you, Murphy. It was nice of you to come out and help us. You look a, you, you look a little shaken up today, though. You okay? Um, you know what I want to do, Cage, next time around? Alpha 17? I actually want to do, um, like, more of a, a role-play environment. <laughs> I want to do more of like a role play playthrough and throw log or um, you know what? Let's kill him before he runs away. What's up, dude? Um, I want to do more of like a role play thing and um, put lore into my mod while I'm doing it. I think that would be pretty cool. Kind of just getting bored of the standard. Let's play too. What's up, man? There we go. Is he gonna drop the cure for us? Oh, we didn't get the cure. That sucks. Okay. Well, like Game Edge says, as you know, Cage, it is what it is. A lot of people think that's Canadian, but you know what? I've heard a lot of Europeans saying that, too. I think it's catching on. Oh, no! Enders! They're gonna come and smash my base up! No! Out of here! Go! Get out of here! No! Enders! No! 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 Come here! Come here! Oh, oh! I see what you're running from. You're running from these guys. Okay. Come here. Uh, I'll get them. Don't worry. Got ourselves a nice wandering horde going on here. What's up, zombie? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that was not your head. Not nearly as big as your head either. So that's a smaller target. That was all skill. Oh, shit. Are they smashing my house? Oh, no. I hear one over here. I hear them. Are they smashing my house? I think they might be smashing my house. Sounds like they may be smashing my house. Let's go check that out. Tal, dude, how's it going, man? Um, dude, you should see our Lord's, Lord's Mobile Guild. It's huge. Oh, shit! What are you guys doing? No, this is unacceptable. Whoops. <laughs> okay, that's not the way to do that. Uh, come here. Here we go. Get mad at them for destroying my house, and then I throw up. Uh, I just launch a rocket up into it. But yeah, here you can see Cage. It actually drops large bones and crap like a normal body would, right? Um, all I did was basically take the chance that you would have out of there and put it into the Lupin. Guys, quit destroying my place. Now, Enders, guys, are just really, really stupid people. Um, they've somehow survived the apocalypse, but they're so stupid, even the zombies don't know they're not zombies and they're that and they're that stupid um that they don't realize oh nature's gift let's actually go ahead and use one of those get our wellness up a little bit here there we go um they don't realize that the zombies don't realize that oh wow they went right through my house this time around holy crap look at that destroying my shit good thing these aren't my permanent bases ah crap uh, but if you do play Settlers Mod, guys, I really highly recommend um, um, jacking up your zombie spawn a bit. It makes it just that much funner, right? Uh, Mad, it's also a slow mod for Let's Play. Um, yeah, that's that's the thing, too. Is um, uh, Are we talking about two survival now? I'm going to go ahead and look up the chat a little bit here. Uh... I think starvation is big because people can't handle. It's not big because people can't handle this challenge. Yeah, it, it is challenging. Like um, I, I will admit that. Um, but I'm the type of player that if I do have a large challenge, I, I gotta get a large award, re reward out of it, right? Just to simply say I passed the challenge to me just doesn't carry me in the game, which is cool. Everyone plays the, the game different, but that's the kind of thing that keeps me away from starvation. Um, I, I don't think I caught your, your thing earlier. Have they fixed a lot of the bugs and, like, how janky stuff was in, in Alpha 15? Because, honestly, like, we, we all as content creators um, bash a lot of game makers who use assets. Uh, but a lot of those mods are 100% assets. Um, asset smashes, right? Um, so stuff just doesn't always work properly. Ooh, another nature's gift. Oh, no, we are going to actually use that. Um, we're going to have to eat a chocolate bar here or something soon, though. Uh, because the nature's gift will also give you, if you take a look at your character skills, um, nature's gift here, character skills, debuffs here. Um, it also gives you a baked buff for an hour that removes three stamina every two seconds. Um, so if you do use one, don't use it while you're out gathering and, um, 
Make sure that you have a chocolate bar or two kicking around. Uh, you can only find chocolate bars. You cannot eat them. So uh, search those cupboards and whatnot. Um, if you get hit by a bro and he gives you a hangover, uh, you can drink a beer to get rid of it. I didn't want to do it, but after a little bit of feedback, I decided, okay, I'll give you a beer. That'll take away the hangover. Here we go. It seems a lot better so far. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I just, I don't know. That's uh, that's the other reason I don't play Ark either. It just feels like a, they smash content in without very little balance. Um, it's all just personal opinion, though. That's all. Here we go. Uh, that's why I'm not playing True Survival this time around either, because um, uh, simply, when you don't have descriptions on, on your items and stuff, um, that's that doesn't make the game hard. That makes the game frustrating. As a content creator, like I, I love True Survival, but as a content creator, having the little time I do have and having to search through 8,000 forum posts to see what the fuck goes where um, was not time conducive at all. So I, I asked him last time around, I'm like, dude, can you take some time out? Make yourself descriptions, right? If you pick up a junk item, put a description on it that says junk item. It li now that I have been doing XML, guys, I can literally say um, making a description is literally piddles. Um, it is the last step in my workflow when, when working on the mod. And, oh, we already know this thing. Just, oh, I can't even scrap it. Um, and honestly, adding those in is like one of the easiest things to do. It's the least time consuming. It literally it takes two seconds. You write something, copy it into the XML, and you're good to go. Um, that's what frustrated me about True Survival. That's why I didn't touch it this time around. And I started making my own. I really like Ark. I play. Uh, I don't play Ark because it gets no views for me. Oh, um, I, I try to like Ark, dude. But once again, random chance to me is not difficult. Um, when you spawn on the shore and your face gets eaten by a raptor, that to me is not difficult. That's just throwing random shit at you. Um, it's a cheesy way of making the game difficult, in my opinion, right? Uh, but yeah, it's just, I, I've tried it and I just, I can't. I can't. Um, if I get frustrated with the game, I just put it down. Uh, I do want to kind of go back eventually to... Um, Oh shit, what's it called? Damn it, hold your own. Hold your own looks like it has some potential. Um, I do want to see the devs stay communicate, uh, communicate, or we're gonna uh, use this then. I, I do want to see the devs um, keep up their, their level of interaction with the, uh, the community. That is a very good sign. That's why I actually started believing in the game. Um, uh, but I think I'm gonna wait a while until I, I do anything on it again. I think it needs a little bit more content. And they're Canadian devs too, so of course I have to favor them a little bit, right? Oh, and uh, check this out, Cage. Um, what I've done as well is if you leave stuff in uh, Eviscerator Remains and, and the container breaks, like, you know how I just broke the container? Um, it stays in Eviscerator Remains and they don't break down, so it helps you a little bit with your loot, especially on Horde Nights. Um, and it stops that duplication problem uh, because you can't, you can't duplicate in these. There we go. Uh, but you can duplicate in the corpses. So basically, that's what that did. Um, now, it doesn't work perfectly all the time, but it usually does. Okay, awesome. Nice. We have a nice little hole in our floor that'll make it a little bit easier to repair. They made this door really big over here. Wow, that's a big door. I should have thrown more um, holes and stuff in the wall now that I'm kind of thinking about it. Uh, this is just a temporary base, so it kind of irks me that those um, that the, the archers weren't able to shoot through the bars. Um, that is not supposed to happen. I'm gonna have to look. Uh, I'm gonna have to look up and see why that was happening. Oh, okay. And up we go. It's hold your own that island survival game. That's not in the Twitch game. Uh, yes, yes, it is actually. I should reach out to the devs and tell them that there's a page where they can go and add their game to, so that we actually have a spot to to put the game. Uh, but yeah, they have been listening a lot. That's what's important. Another sleeper game, Cage, dude. You want to go check out another sleeper game cage? Man, this these devs have been all over their shit. Um, okay, these are devs that are in alpha, and they go, oh, there's a bug? Oh, okay, let's fix it before it becomes compiled on and becomes a huge legacy bug that we can't fix without rebuilding the whole entire game. Um, there's a few games like that right now. I won't mention them, um, but it's frustrating, right? Oh, it's, it's a legacy bug. There's nothing we can do about it now. You should have fixed it way back in the day before compiling on top of it, right? Um, it's, um, oh my god, why can I not remember it now? 
Uh, Forge with Fire. Citadel. Citadel Forge with Fire, dude. Those guys come out with a content update weekly, man. It is insane. Um, they're updating their news page every couple days. Um, and, dude, the game looks beautiful, man. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but you got to check that one out. Um, that's one I'm seriously considering. Um, like, after a little bit more time here, I'm giving a really good go. Because um, it's a beautiful looking game. Um, it's a little PvP centric, um, but I'm sure you could fly it with PvE if you, you know, or if you could do it with Ark, you can do it with this game. Okay, I think we're good on repairs here. Let's go get some stuff and uh, do some repairs. I need a new game. I have an open slot. Um, check that one out, man. I really want to do some content on it. I just haven't had the time. Uh, the mod this time literally took up um, a whole season's playthrough of something else, right? Um, all the effort I put into the mod. Um, time is precious, man. Like I said, I'm doing this full time now, and I gotta make I gotta make decisions, right? Um, especially with YouTube being the way it is, maybe go in some different directions. Like at the same time, too, I like Twitch, um, but there's also the fact that if I don't want the and it's fair, um, but if I don't want the American government to um, take 30% taxes off my stuff, um, Canada and the United States have a have a law where if someone makes money there or here. What you do is you report it to your, um, you know, your income taxes. You pay taxes on it, and then it's um, transferred, right? It's it's like transfer taxes. Um, but what they do with um, what they've done to, it, it's not Twitch's fault. It's not Amazon's fault. Amazon tried to fight it, fight it, fight it in court. They actually stood up for us. Um, but they take thirty percent of my earnings unless I file taxes with them, right? Which doesn't normally sound like a big deal. But why would I give another country's government all my personal information? Like, we have to go and fold out file, right? Like, our name, our SIN, um, our address, our income, our family, everything, right? Just to get that 30% back. And that's kind of kind of killer, really, if you think about it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm still kind of tossed up with that, just out of, like, spite mostly. Um, I, I'm sure it's not a big deal giving another government your information, but... Um, I, I feel that that was just kind of a slimy way um, to to force uh, people who didn't want another government to have their information like that. Because that's why the laws are there, right? Um, to protect us from from other governments having our personal information. Uh, but they went after Amazon because Amazon affiliates, Twitch, and everything. And they told them, you have to make your people register with us and file taxes with us. Or we're going to automatically take 30%, which kind of sucks. You do own Forge with Fire Cage? You pay 45%? Holy shit, Cage. Holy shit, man. That's all I have to say for that one. Okay, maybe I'm not. I shouldn't complain then, dude. Maybe I shouldn't complain. I'm getting off easy. Seriously, man? Holy shit, dude. At least, like, at least here they let us. Do, do you have to file at the end of the year or does they automatically take it off on you? Um. Because that would suck if they took it off on you. Because I like filing, right? Like, all my computer components, everything I buy through the year, because I have a registered business, I can actually um, um, I can actually write a lot of it off, right? And actually run into a negative, which is actually really nice. Um, uh, because I don't give myself income at all, right? Um, basically, everything I buy, other than, like, my basic income, like my rent, my food, and everything, I pay myself just enough to pay my bills. Um, keep my personal taxes under and then my business um, I, I can write almost everything off I invest and so far this year um, I've invested about 90% of my extra earnings back into equipment and stuff um, um, I don't, I'm not sure if you watch Neebs Gaming uh, Cage but I would love to start a let's play like a, a cinematic let's play like Neebs Gaming and that's what I'm really saving up for right now getting that done uh guess what apple and google pay on taxes oh I, I can i can imagine okay uh so we should go check our forge too we have a little bit of concrete mix uh we have a lot of cement and it appears we don't have very much stone so we, we're gonna have to go and get some stone uh there's a little bit of cement so yeah so yeah, i'm gonna go do some repairs and then we'll head out and do some grinding oh crap i'm not even paying attention to my thirst right now holy shiitake let's get that done I'm surprised I didn't trigger half my viewers with that. Cage, I don't know if you do this sometimes too, man. You get talking and you forget about your uh, your water. <laughs> man, I get raged on sometimes when I do that. Like hardcore raged on. It's so funny. Sometimes I'll do it on purpose. Oh, shoot. I forgot to eat a chocolate bar. We have minus three stamina a second right now. 
Like, look at my stamina bar. It's just struggling to try to stay up there. <laughs> okay, let's eat a chocolate bar. I only have two left. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and eat that sucker right away. There we go. That'll get rid of our bake buff. It'll bring us down, man. And uh, there's a little bit of a bug with that, I just noticed. Chocolate bars give you an empty can. They should not do that. Oh, you know what I should do with chocolate bars? When you eat them, they give you a plastic. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to write that one down. Change chalk bars to plastic instead of can. There we go. Oh, excuse me. Um, I guess plastic would make a little bit more sense as a container. There we go. Sometimes when I'm starving or whatever, I'll ignore chat telling me about it just to troll. Oh, I know, dude. I love doing it. A lot of people don't realize um, we do that on purpose sometimes. Or when I see someone mentioning that I have something in my uh, my tool belt that's pissing them off. Like if I have my whole inventory empty and I'm like, okay, we're good to go. And I have like three iron in my tool bar. And someone's like getting really triggered about it. I'll go like this. And they just keep going. <laughs> it's so much fun trolling. Uh, and I, I honestly miss so the good old days of witty trolls. Witty trolls are the best. Uh, like the other day, my audience found out that you can go over to Twitch and my Twitch notifications still make the sounds while I'm streaming on YouTube. And yeah, they had fun with that one. I feel like I'm inside a rainbow. Okay, who followed me? I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go. I didn't sign into my Streamlabs, so I can't actually see my follows and whatnot. Okay, I'm uh, just signing in the Streamlabs here, and I will give you the shout out for that. Here we go. It takes a second. I was not prepared for this today, guys. I ended up having to restart my computer a minute before the stream started. It was insane. Uh, for her Rarden. I don't know how to say that, dude. Welcome to the channel, though. Thank you for the follow. There we are, and my streams are kind of starting up. My OBS making uh, follow sounds when I'm recording sometimes. Oh, yeah, that's annoying too. Um, I, like, honestly, if it's hidden cage, why does the sound still play? That frustrates me, man. Um, you know what? I should actually... Oh, it's OBS. It's not Streamlabs. Streamlabs listens. OBS is just like, we really don't care. Because I, I brought up stuff to them before, and they're like, eh. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Well, don't listen to the people that use your service then. Um, but it would be nice if the sound's muted as well, because if something's hidden, you shouldn't be able to hear the sound from it. Um, check out Days Gone. It rings a bell. Every American calls me fur, it's fair. Well, it's spelled F-E-R. <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't blame us for that one. Here we go. Whee! Oh, and it looks like Cage. Did you see they brought back being able to hit zombies with your bike? Because you should be able to because it's a bike. I like that function. Um, I see them driving around with that wonky ass car though, running over like pals. And I went out with my inventory full. Um, running around with that wonky shit. Why did I do that? Oh, yeah, I was going to go and repair shit before anything else. Damn it. Okay, let's head back, do the repairs, get rid of my inventory. Oh, I can't function here today. Good old Sundays. The car looked fun. Yeah. I do hope, though, that they figure out how to hide your character while you're in the car. Um, and um, I hope they figure out how to make the car's wheels turn. And right now, it literally looks like a, um, a static mesh moving around on the map. It, it, it actually looks really, really odd. <laughs> it made me laugh. I'm looking at it going, wow. It's cool, but at the same time, wow. <laughs> it almost looks like they modded it. Honestly, it almost looks like they modded it. That's what it looks like. <laughs> nah, skip your toe. Actually, that time, that was completely my fuck up. Okay, let's go repair first and then go put our shit back. Holy crap. Um, it looks so, so much better than first time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Remember the, yeah, I remember the first time seeing it. He's getting stuck on, like, little small stupid crap. Oh, my God. Um, now that they gave, I think, the ability for um, vehicles to, like, be bumped and, like, jump upwards. I think that's how they did it. I think that's how they got around getting stuck on stuff is your vehicle will get, like, a little bit of a bump up and then you'll drive over it, um, which is cool. I like seeing that. Um, oh, and apparently Mad Mole hates hatch elevators. Oh, they do. They do, Cage. 
Um, I've been I've been tempted um, to make a uh, Mad Mole elevator video and just literally make a whole bunch of um, hatch elevators and then have Mad Mole races um, with the hatch elevators. See um, which Mad Mole makes it to the top first. Because um, what I could just do is spawn in a whole bunch of uh, Joels and then put them in the hatch elevator, push them into it, and then we can all close it at the same time and have races. I think that would be fun. We can have Mad Mole races. There's a good idea for a video. Mad Mole races. Oh, he would get... S I wonder how he would feel about that video, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's what I've said. What I've told them, Cage, is I, w I went, you want us to stop using hatch elevators? Then give us an elevator. Right? I'll stop using a hatch elevator if they give us legit elevators. I'm down for that. Oh, and um, KG, I know you'll get a kick out of this too, dude. Because um, you know me, we make fun of everybody. But um, when uh, I'm gonna, okay, I gotta go in the corner here so I don't do something fucked up. Um, but when I do, I don't care if they fix them. <laughs> um, when I do my uh, my role play let's play thing next time around, Alpha 17, um, I'm actually gonna have Joel as a trader in my place. He's gonna show up one day, and you know there'll be a story and stuff behind it. Um, but when I have conversations with Joel. Um, instead of like maybe doing another voice or something or like, um, you know, altering audio, all I'm going to do for Joel's replies is this cage. And I know 100% you're going to appreciate this. So Mad Mole, how are you doing today? Oh, well, that's good to hear Mad Mole. And literally that's, um, uh, my keyboard's not a mechanical, so it's pretty silent, but I have a mechanical one I'm going to use just for that. So I'm going to just dub like a whole bunch of, oh shoot, did I drop that? Oh, here it is. I'm going to just dub in a whole bunch of um, keyboard smashing sounds and use them as replies. <laughs> I think it'd be funny. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, I'll open the door and he'll be like, hey, guys, this is Joel from the Fun Pimps. And then I'll do the keyboard smashing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And you know why, Cage? You know why I'm picking on him for that one specifically? Is because I remember he specifically said he went out and bought um, a nice quiet keyboard so that when he does videos, you won't hear the keyboard on them. So he went out and even bought a keyboard and told us he bought a keyboard and he's still not using it for his videos. Now I want to go back and watch that one guy imitating him. Who, who did that again? Oh, uh, Midnight Designer does that a lot. Midnight Designer does a pretty good um, uh, uh, Joel impression. Uh, hey guys, it's, uh, Joel from the Fun Pimps. <laughs> it, he does it pretty well. Um, I don't have the beard yet to scratch, um, but I will be able to get the scratch. Oh, I should do the beard scratch too as a dub over. That would be a good one. He had me in tears. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny, dude. Because that's literally, man, um, I've always been this way. I can't watch videos. That have horrible audio. I, I just, I can't. And I love Joel and I appreciate what he does. But seriously, man, he needs to plug in a normal keyboard. He doesn't need a mechanical keyboard to make a video. <laughs> it drives me nuts. Like, I usually have to stop his video and then go back to it and watch it. Um, finish watching it. I don't know why. It's just, like, all the sound in the background and stuff just drives me nuts. Like, the scratching of the beard and the keyboard and... <laughs> I might play that for my stream intro intro today. <laughs> Do it. Hmm. Well, from what I've been told, because I, I I've talked to um. I've talked to his daughter-in-law, right? And she she said he has a really good sense of humor. So I I think I think he'd be able to take that as a joke. I hope I hope he doesn't wouldn't get insulted by that. Um, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Okay, we need the machete. Uh, I'm gonna bring this. We definitely don't need this many arrows. These arrows can uh, go screw themselves. Is this a better one? Oh yeah, this is a better one than the one I have now. Nice. Let's get some of these put away. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Yeah, I figured so. You, you know what I like? You know what I like though about um, ab about him, um, Cage. What I really respect about him, he doesn't give a shit. You know what I mean? Even though we harass the crap out of him for like the keyboard and shit, he just doesn't give a shit. And that. Is what I respect in people. Uh, people that don't easily get pushed around and stuff. I love it. So funny, man. It's even like like you, like you when you troll people, right? Back when they're saying like you're starving or something. You know what I mean? Just don't give a shit. 
<laughs> He's so funny. Uh, he reminds me a bit of you. Like he'll go off sometimes on people on the forums. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. He just he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> and and you know why that is, Cage? Uh, most of the people I've looked up to in my life, dude, uh, have been very, very, very successful people. And each and every single one of them told me, don't give a shit. If you have a customer that's a bad customer, tell them to fuck off. Because you know why? You won't lose other customers. You'll lose other bad customers. Because that bad customer has bad customer friends. And they're all very successful people. So I, I kind of believed them on that one. And I've kind of stood there since like day one on, on YouTube. So yeah, I have, n I have no problem telling someone how it is. Um, I've made a few enemies that way, but once again, I could really care less. Most of those enemies move on within a month or two anyways. And I think, oh my god, Mad Mole put in the filter. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. I'm always trying to please everyone. Yeah, you know what? And honestly, dude, that's probably why you have more subs, man. I I'm not gonna lie. That that's, that's why you have more subs, right? Um, I just, I, I can't. I, I've, I've, go I've gone that way, man. And, oh shit, look at that! Meat! I, I've gone that way, and honestly, dude, I end up going crazy, man. Um, I, I, at this point, I'd rather save my sanity and just tell a few people off, than, than, than lose it. <laughs> if someone does not like me, um, it bothers me, and I've always been that way even before YouTube. You know what? Um, that, that's, that's the same for me too, um, Cage. I used to be, I used to be like that too a lot. But honestly, man, ever since with like dealing, um, especially on the, no offense to my mature console viewers here that, that are on here, but console content, I think did that to me, man. I just got to the point where I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, like I said, it can be a strength too, right? Uh, you're probably a lot more friendlier and a lot more patient than I am. Screw you. Did I just one-shot that deer with my axe? Nice. Yeah, and on top of that, I'm very sarcastic. A lot of people do not understand sarcasm, right? Um, and honestly, I get it back, too. If I make a mistake, you guys are all over me. Um, I know that for a fact. And you know what? I actually hold my community to that. If I fuck up, I hold my community holding me responsible for it. Oh, look, a bro. We're not going to fuck with him, though. Actually, do you think we could take out a bro quite yet? No, I don't have any beer on me. I don't want to get hit by him. Um, if you party with a bro, um, you get a hangover. And hangovers are not fun. Oh, and there, remember when he dropped his bow on Horde Knight? Um, you know what? Actually, uh, Cage, for the longest time, I had that as my fail uh, screen. Um, I had like a little clip of it. And every time I would fuck up, I would show the clip instead. <laughs> Uh, I have that clip around somewhere too. I specifically clipped that one because it was so funny. And you know what? We've all done that. Every single one of us has dropped our weapon into a pit of zombies on Horde Night. And it, it happens, right? But it's just funny seeing like the guy who made the game do the same thing. And what was even funnier is like almost immediately after that video, they changed the uh, the quick key for dropping your weapon. <laughs> <laughs> That's what made me laugh even more. I was just like, ah, well, Joel just got trolled by his own game. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, it. That's exactly that. It's so funny. See you later, Soundlog. Thanks for stopping in, dude. It's good having you here. Um, I missed the deck memes. The deck memes. Oh, yeah, all the deck memes. Um, I had to strip them and rebuild my stream deck and stuff and uh, my OBS. Um, so I just, I haven't really added them back in. Here we are, we'll tear your head off. Perfect, don't need you. Um, it's that pause right after dropping it. Yeah, see, that's that to me is a good reaction as well, right? That's a natural reaction. When you do something stupid, um, it's usually you stop there for a second and kind of contemplate what just happened, right? You're like, uh. Oh, it's a dog fighting a zombie over there. Okay, I was gonna be like, what the hell? I thought the dog was coming after me. Hey, Helen, what's up? Welcome, good to see you. Yeah, you're able to catch a stream. It's good to have you here. Sorry I don't have a webcam cam today, guys. Like I said, I have another one of those friggin' migraines this morning, and um, I don't know what it does. It's like it draws all the, the blood away from my face, but I end up with, like, big, huge um, black eyes after um, after them for, um, like, several hours. Um, I'll, I'll probably come back tonight. Um, I'm thinking of doing a Lord's Mobile stream tonight. 
Um, I know a lot of a um, lot of people as well too. They're like, "Oh, you're a sellout. You're a sellout. You're a sellout." But honestly, guys, we're having a blast on that. Um, simply because they paid me to do one stream doesn't doesn't make me a sellout. It means I'm trying to put food on my table. And on top of that, I openly um, I openly said things. You know, like this isn't this isn't a good feature. This isn't a good feature. Um, I, w I will never not say negative things about a game um, just to get sponsored for it, right? Because every game developer needs to hear what is wrong with their game. Uh, they, they need to hear that. Even if they don't like to hear it, Joel, um, they need to hear it. Hey, KY, what's up? Um, what's this large mobile about? Um, uh, you know what, dude? If, if you want to get hooked up with it, it's very PvP, man. It's, um, it's a, it's, it is pay to, um, pay to pay or play pay to play if you want to play it that way the only reason okay the only reason i said okay to this game and not games like clash mobile clash got a hold of me as well too um their offer was actually a lot more lucrative and uh this was about half a year ago and i, I played it for a week and i'm like no this is fucking bullshit right um because the the pay to play members could come and just roll you over and fuck you up right and that's not fun um, but in this game, if you get rolled by pay to play players, all you do is tuck your tail between your legs, let them hit you and waste their money because they don't get anything. You can hide your troops. Um, you can do everything. Like all they can do is attack you, right? Um, pay to pay, pay to pay players in this game only seem to go after other pay to play players because they're only wasting money going after small guilds or smaller players. Cause that's, that's what you do. It costs you money to port to them cost you money to attack them you know what i mean you only want to attack people that are going to benefit uh, from uh, from attacking them uh, and that is why i was like you know what we're going to give this game a chance now we have 100 last time i checked we were rounding up on 150 players in our guild um we are actually like we're, we're on the brink of like a full-out war already it's freaking awesome and it's so much fun and you don't need to pay to play you don't need to you're more than welcome to if that's your thing uh spend responsibly um, but otherwise, that's why I had no qualms with it, right? People have to realize um, that those guys that pay to play pay for your ability to play for free, right? And the game gives you an ability to be able to defend yourselves against players that do that. So it, it's a it's a pretty fair trade. How the devs give you money to spend? A devs of the last um, day on Earth gave lots of YouTubers gold. Yeah, really, eh? Um, well, there's certain things with contracts and stuff, Cage. Um, you, you know what, dude? Um, should probably I should probably get a hold of you because um, if there's something you're interested in eventually as well, then um, it, it might work out. I can I can mention mention you too. Um, it'd be cool if we could like make guilds both on the same servers and like take over a server with both of our guilds, man. That would be absolutely insane. It's a great game to play too. I actually have it open on the side right now. Um, well, you know what an emulator is. Obviously, you played a mobile game. Um, but I literally have it open on the side right now on another monitor. And I can monitor my community on there and make sure we're not getting attacked or anything. Um, that's what I really liked about the game. It doesn't take up all your time. Um, it's very easy to put it off to the side and pay attention to it once in a while. Um, what do you think about devs giving uh, YouTubers free goals on a game like that? Uh, it's, you know what, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of a, a gray area, um, but at the same time, they have to promote their game, right? Like, um, content creators usually don't want to touch your content unless, um, you, you know what I mean? Like, if you're going into the game with, like, a level one, whatever, whatever, it's not that impressive, right? It's hard to impress people with, um, the basics. Uh, so by giving you that stuff, what they're doing is they're uh, giving you a little bit of a boost so you can actually show off the game's functions. And that I don't mind. Um, maybe continued use of giving gold to get an advantage over other people may not be such a great thing. Um, but at the same time, uh, you got to look at it. Like uh, in competitions, uh, people get sponsored, right? In competitions and gaming competitions. And companies give them money to buy stuff um, to make their performance better. So it's basically the same thing. The game's sponsoring their own people to play in their own game, right? So it's almost the same. It's, it's gray, man. A lot of people don't like it. But at this point, all I say is fuck them. Go by what you feel is right. Uh, seems kind of wrong, mind you. I would have taken it if they offered it to me. Yeah, we need to find some time to chat in Discord. Yeah, you know what? You know what, 2Cage? Like, uh, it's been a little bit aggressive lately between content creators 
and uh, I do take um, my uh, my place in that as well. Um, but on YouTube, dude, you've been on YouTube long enough to know that the more of us making seven days to die videos, the better, right? Because someone goes and they watch, um, for instance, games for kicks, right? Um, instead of moving on to a video about Call of Duty, if there's lots of artists, it's going to start suggesting another seven days to die video by another artist. So then that person moves on uh, to the other content creator, watches their video, and the first content creator gets credit for that, right? And then another seven days to die video pops up and they move on to that channel. Uh, we kind of I, I feel that the community kind of gotten to the point where we're thinking we have to compete with each other for views when we should actually be working together and um, Honestly, man, I would love to be able to stagger all of our videos if we could stagger all of our videos an hour apart from each other We would bring our um, we, we would bring our um, Our little niche back right because that's what it is. It's kind of um, I've, I've noticed um, times have been moving around a lot for for releasing videos and if we're all releasing a video at the same time, you're not going to get that cross-channel uh, movement. And we need that as a community. Uh, see you later, Jolene. Thank you very much. A rising tide raises all the ships. Yeah, basically, that's what it is. Um, I I've been getting a lot of like, cross-hate and stuff from some other smaller channels and, and stuff. And it's like, guys, we need each other to make videos right like if no one's watching seven days to die it's not going to suggest your seven days to die videos so you end up losing out if you're trying to aka squash your competition and on top of that right like i can't expect a games for kicks viewer to enjoy my content and the same way around right we're, we're a different artist we we do different styles um which is good you can't all do the same style that'd be boring as fuck um but uh from other uh, channel creators or their fans? Um, both actually, Cage. Both actually. Um, I'm getting a lot of, you stole my base, you stole my base, you stole my base. Give me credit for making that base. Because, Cage, you know as far as I do, man, 99% of builds in 7 Days of Die have been done 9,000 times. And it's usually the content creator is the last one to make a video on it. And um, then it turns into, oh, I invented it, right? And that's been happening actually in a couple lower level channels lately. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is, Cage. Um, uh, my most recent, uh, actually, my most recent Seven Days to Die video. I've done this base a million times, right? The the flat base where you run across it, and um, you put the dip in it, and then you can put barbed wire or spikes or anything you want in there, and that's to stop like zombies from hitting the barbed wire. That's been around since Alpha 12, man. I remember back in Alpha 12, I joined a multiplayer server, and this dude had a whole bunch of different style bases. He had the pillar base, he had the underground base, above base, um, he had the flat base, and, and he told me, right, he's just like, man, I just saw random people do this stuff and I just kind of smashed everything together and uh, this is what it is, right? But yet I have someone coming after me saying I stole their shit um, when they made the video in Alpha 15, right? And I'm just like, dude, man, you, that's not the way to get along with the YouTube community. <laughs> you can't do that. Oh crap, I'm running for my bike, not my bed. Uh, they should be making the look contacts, not enemies. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Like, uh, half the time Let's Plays are dying, I think um, it's a little bit going both ways as well. I, I honestly think, um, um, just as a general overhaul, or, or like generally overall, people are just kind of getting tired of Let's Plays. I, I think that's actually a real thing. Like, you go look from three years ago, and Let's Plays don't get nearly the same amount of views as they used to. Any channel that's been around for a long time, uh, the views have dwindled, right? Um, but you go and look at channels like Neebs, and they're growing a lot. Um, what I think right now is YouTube is just in the position that they have so many um, quote-unquote employees, people making videos on the platform, um, that the viewers just have so much to choose from. Um, that It's too spread out, right? And you you kind of have to do something like way over the top to to uh to get those viewers back in at this point it, it's becoming hard man it's becoming hard either i'm gonna end up turning back into full-time streaming or i'm gonna have to invest about another 6k for that second computer so i can make um more content as a fan of content creators on youtube i've loved seeing a lot of content creators working together even if it's not producing shared uh content um, it's like the invention, uh, yeah, it's like the Avengers of content creators. But yeah, actually, now that, now that we do have you in here, Cage, we should actually all start working together, man. Like, you, me, um, games for kicks. I have no problem, dude, releasing my videos at 12 and 1. 
You know what I mean? I a lot of my viewers don't watch my view videos right off the bat. Um, they usually like to like um, they come home in the afternoon, sit down, and then they'll watch a video. Um, that's what I find mine are. Like I don't get most of my views in the first hour. They usually tend to be in like three or four hours later. Um, so I mean, like I don't mind releasing mine super early if, if that's if that's a problem. Um, but I do think we should get together and bring back our niche because it died this this season big time. Um, I think streaming content is good at the moment because of the interactions. Yes, you know what, guys? Honestly, it's a lot less stressful. It, it really is. Trying to get videos done, pushed out, um, making sure that they're out in time enough to uh, get um, sweeped by the, the, the system, uh, make sure that they have enough time to get approved for monetization before they come out. Um, it's just it's, it's getting, getting too stressful, right? For a lot of content creators. I, I've actually watched quite a few channels. Um, that I used to like look at when I first started doing this and uh, they haven't made a video in like two months I think they just gave up and it's too bad like honestly though guys 100% if this shit dies like just come dies for me I'll still make videos this just won't be every day right I'll probably have to just go and get another job back not a big deal right the job's a job but I'll still make videos like that will never go away um, I, I could honestly care about making that much money as long as I have enough to keep a roof over my head and stuff, I'm, I'm pretty happy. You guys should see my cupboards. I have two cups, two bowls, two plates. Um, I'm a minimalist, big time, big time minimalist. So um, that's actually how I survive off of what I make right now is because I'm a min minimalist. Uh, my car, uh, I filled up the gas tank two months ago. I, I walked to the corner store instead of driving. You know what I mean? It's just, that's kind of the way I am. Uh, I follow several channels that do seven days to die. I love the variety of them. Yes, we need that variety as well too, right? We need the the content creators like Games for Kicks. We need the content creators like Cage. Cage is, a, I will say this, is a lot more talented of a player than I am. I'm not that great of a player. I think you guys more have watched me for my banter and uh, my building. And we need that too, right? Uh, because like I'm the builder, Cage is um, the good player. And um, I, <laughs> Games for Kicks is entertaining. Very entertaining. That's 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 where he really draws his stuff in, and he's a good player too. So, um, but I think we we really need to start because um, even if you look at YouTube three years ago when Let's Plays were big, content creators were working together, and like ever since then, it's it's slowly dwindled away. Now a lot of people are like, why don't you make like a, a content creator um, seven days server? Uh, that is very hard to do. Um, because of the nature of seven days, uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, and honestly guys, when I pick up and record, I pick up and record, right? Um, that's why I don't usually record with other people trying to like, Matt, I don't know how you do it cage, man. I don't know how you did your multiplayer before, man. Just trying to organize that many people, that many mic levels, um, blows my mind, dude. Uh, I don't even want to even begin to look at that. That's insane. Yeah, I've been doing Seven Days to Die since 2013. Alpha 1, right? Alpha 1. You started it out when it was in, uh, in Kickstarter. That's why I was happy for you, man. When you got that part, uh, the, uh, the sponsorship from the Fun Pimps, man, I was pretty jacked for you. You deserve it. You put the time in. I'd love to see a new uh, newer incarnation of something like Broken Ankle. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just the nature of the game. Uh, Minecraft's a little different, right? Because it's Minecraft. You know what I mean? Seven Days to Die... Yeah, um, let's say you haven't been able to make an episode in a week. You log back into the server. It's now 300 days ahead of when you logged in last time. That is a problem, right? Your game stage is incredibly high. You don't have any supplies. It just, we would have to, as content creators, have to make a schedule. And like Cage works, right? I'm sure Cage doesn't have a lot of free time. Um, I do other stuff on the side too, guys. Um, YouTube is not my only source of income. Remember that. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I do on the side, which I purposely leave out of my community and YouTube and stuff. Um, because the last thing I need is to have uh, cross trolls on it. Uh, but there's other stuff I do outside of YouTube. Um, so, I mean, we're all really busy people. And trying to get together like that's really hard. Even trying to get together with another content creator, period, is hard. Um, well, I did a bit with Midnight Designer in Alpha 15. And honestly, like, it was just, it was so much effort to try to do. Like, something would work if we all had, like, the same stream time. Um, but streaming, too, though. Streaming is one of those things where it's yeah, better to st all stream at different points in time as well, right? Because then you're just, um, 
Oh, shoot. I don't have any steel. That's okay. We'll go home. Uh, because at that point, you're just kind of soaking up the amount of viewers that are in the category and spreading them out across um, streamers. Um, I, I see that on Twitch. You guys are pretty good for kind of scheduling around each other. Like, if one of you are doing Seven Days to Die, um, I generally find the other one is doing another game, that type of deal. Everyone loves my wife, Autumn. Yeah, she has uh, she has a good voice, man. You should you should literally you should do more videos with her. Seriously, um, honestly, like I, I'm a single dude just at this point because this this consumes my life when I, when I'm doing right now, and w where I am, the pool isn't very big, um, but I would love to have a significant other like that that would be willing to be in videos and stuff because that would that would be wicked, right? You don't have to make a schedule. You're like, hey, hun, let's go record. You know what I mean? That's freaking awesome, though, that you have that cage. Okay. I'm with you. Who just followed? Let's get a follow here. Uh, saw you in MD at Cooney. I have never eaten my starter chili since. That's funny. Yeah, the Cooney Hill stuff was actually quite fun. I, en I enjoyed the uh, the Cooney Hill series. For me, a playthrough, um, the first part of my playthroughs are pretty boring. It's when I get into, like, building the larger stuff when it's better. Holy crap. Okay, I got to catch up with these notifications here. What do we got going on? My wife doesn't get into gaming at all, and it's the one thing I wish that was different. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get it, man. Uh, Sean Craven and OLNBLK, welcome to the channel, guys. Thanks for the follows. Now, the other thing as well, too, though, is um, I, I don't know if I'd be completely interested if we're exactly the same. I do like differences. But it would actually be nice to be able to find a girl that, that enjoys gaming and is a supermodel. I don't think that's unrealistic. And interested in me. <laughs> no, that's unrealistic. But stat, we can all have dreams, right? What made me um, a content creator on YouTube? Um, honestly, I I, um, I just started making videos, dude. Um, before, I was like making Minecraft videos just casually. Um, for me, it was just more of a fun thing, right? Um, three years ago, I never really used YouTube. And then um, I was playing Minecraft, and someone's like, you should stream this. And I'm like, what the hell is streaming? And they're like, Twitch. And I'm like, what the hell is Twitch? And uh, honestly, dude, I just, I enjoy making videos. I enjoy streaming, and that's where I leave it, right? Um, I, I don't want to put pressure on myself to become bigger or to become something else. Because I just, I just want to enjoy what I'm doing. You only have one life. Uh, it is good to have differences, but my next girlfriend was going to be is was going to have to be a gamer we have too many window uh, roman i say it's uh, it's okay i'm a gamer but down the road they want me to stop yeah that's that's a that's a thing too cage like at this point in time i just i don't care man a lot of people are like why are you single and it's like because i just don't care right eventually she'll come along or she won't uh but yeah I, i've heard that kind of thing too man i know what you're saying about that whoa here we go Love is in the air. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, damn it. He dropped poop. Okay, let's go over here and kill these guys. Like, look at that. The zombie, they're so stupid. Even the zombies are like, they've got to be zombies. Even the zombies, like, refuse to, even the zombies refuse to believe it. Hey, guys. Idiots. Come here. Come here, dummies. Ah, shit. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys, like, watch Z Nation actively, but there is a lot of Easter eggs in here. About Z Nation, the Enders are um, are, are, are a uh, Z Nation shout out because Enders and Z Nation are really fucking stupid. Now they're a little bit different uh, because these Enders don't attack you; they just try to run away and then um, just punch their way through everything they, they meet. Holy crap! Though, like, look at all these coins. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and kill these guys, drop off all my stuff, come back, and we'll loot all this. Holy crap! Though. Okay, I need to head out. Yeah, it was good seeing you here, Cage. It's uh. I'm having some catch up time with you, man. I'll definitely uh, try to get a hold of you on Discord here, too. 
Do you get married? I hope to make a zombie boss version of her and your mod. Um, who wouldn't marry that? Well, um, actually, my mod, um, dude, TS Forest, you can get yourself a girlfriend. Um, if we come across one here in the stream, dude, I'll show you how to do it. Um, you can bring her home. You can lock her in a room. You can do whatever you want with her, man. It's up to you. Um, it's the apocalypse. No judgment. You know what I mean? There's no SJWs here to help you out. Uh, hey, Jesse, what's up, man? I was playing your mod and I found a huge red zombie. What is it? A uh, huge red zombie on Horde Night? That would be the Bomba, man. Um, I'm pretty sure that giant hole left in your base is... What left that? Here we go. Locker in a room. It sounds like fun. Yeah, actually, I had one in here. Um, I call all my girlfriends now Jolene. <laughs> and uh, I had her in here. I gave her a bed. I gave her some food and some water, and she stayed in there for a while. And then one day I went out for a trip, and then I came back and she was gone. She waited until I left, packed her bags, left a mess, and took off. So that's what I mean. It's just not worth getting hurt anymore, guys. It's not, not worth getting hurt. Is it possible to keep the Murphy like a girlfriend zombie? Uh, saw one the other day and killed him before I checked if I could. Um, no, um, they, they don't work the same way. The way I got the girlfriend zombie to do that was to give her a cop hand, um, but not give her the explode ability. So when she goes, when she makes that noise, she's about to explode and then stops hitting you. It's because she's stuck, right? She's like, oh, I'm supposed to be exploding right now, but I can't, so I'm going to just chase you around. And um, that's how I glitched the game to work to make you uh, the girlfriend zombies. It was unintentional, but it worked out really well. Actually, a lot of my stuff in my mods unintentional. <laughs> Best way to do it, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that meat. We got lots of meat now. Uh, we need to use a stone here, too, to make ourselves. Oh, wait. We should bring this to the other forge and make sure that's still going, too. Here we go. Uh, we need stone, some cement. Oh, and it looks like I'll have to make some sand again. Damn it. Okay, whatever. Uh, maybe I'll turn this hole round into sand. Whatever I have left, sand. There we go. That'll do the job. 5,700 and something. Awesome. Is it possible to keep the Murphy like the girlfriend zombie? Oh, wait, I already answered that. Jesus. <laughs> Save Skippy's heart. That's funny. Um, I love gaming. My go-to game is Seven Days to Die. I play on console. Hey, Cupcake Darling. How you doing? Welcome. Hey, Sergio. How you doing, buddy? Uh, Nibri who goes, everyone come to our Lord's Mobile Guild. It's badass. Yes, if you guys uh, want to play Lord's Mobile, if you've always wanted to play games like that, but you always got picked on and couldn't get into a good guild, come join us, guys. We're kicking some ass. Um, we're not in Fallout Wars yet. We've pushed everyone out of the area that we possibly can. You guys, like I said, I love PvP. I just don't do it in seven days of die because to me, it's not a PvP game. Oh, there's some more stone in here. But I'm out of... I'm out of sand. How much did I make? Never. I'm going to turn it all into sand. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, let's go and visit our forges, and then we'll um, hit up all that loot that's going to be sitting over there. Here we go. Put this stuff away. And bam. Okay. So, let's go this way. Loot up all this stuff. Titus, um, yeah, dude, man, if you can't control yourself in that form, dude, please don't. Um, as a friend, not as a content creator, as a gamer, just as a friend, period, dude. Um, I tell anyone joining me, man, spend responsibly. If you're finding that you can't, let me know. We'll kick you out of the guild and we'll keep hitting you so that you won't want to play. Um, if I if I do see it becoming a problem for some people, I'll, I'll try to do my best to negate it. Because I'm just like that, right? Like, I've had friends with gambling problems and stuff, too. And, and yeah, it is pretty debilitating. Um, but there are some people in that game. Um, I asked a few people. Uh, because, like, I was really looking into it, right? I didn't want to rope people into a lot of stuff that was going to get them in trouble. Um, so I asked a few people. I'm like, okay, well, you've spent thousands and thousands of dollars in games like this. Why do you do it? And they're like, well... One, I don't own a computer. I, um, I have like a, a small laptop that I bring around with me. Um, a, two, I have a lot of money. I just don't have a lot of time. 
Uh, so for them playing a game like that, uh, they can play it on the fly while they're out traveling, like traveling salesmen and stuff do stuff like that, right? Um, for them, it's, it's just easier. They have money to dump. They just don't have time to play a game uh, to do it. And honestly, guys, it's capitalism, right? There's nothing wrong with doing that. There's nothing wrong with doing that at all. As long as you make it so that your um, free-to-play players have a fighting chance. And honestly, Lords Mobile does do that. They do give them a fighting chance. So uh, that's why I went ahead and said, you know what, let's play this game. Okay, so there's a bunch of stone in here. We're going to turn, of course, that all in cement. Still going for two hours. Perfect. This one here still has a lot of time, but not very much iron and crap. Okay, ooh, some more iron bars. Yes, we need to make some more of those to fill up that whole space in there. So let's uh, let's make up 86 more. That should be more than enough. And then we can start concentrating on making some steel again later. I stopped playing mobile games for a while because of those reasons. Yeah, yeah, you just, you got to know yourself, right? Um, I used to be really bad for it, but I've kind of learned um, a little bit of self-control over time. Uh, so I, I don't really find myself getting into it. And, and on top of that, guys, you guys want to know something about me? I don't have any credit cards. Not a single one. Um, I do, I, I'm sorry, that's a lie. I do have a credit card, um, but my balance is prepaid on it. Uh, so my, it's a thousand dollar credit card for emergencies and stuff. Like you, you might be stuck out somewhere or need to do an emergency car repair or something, you know, stuff happens, right? So it's always good to have one. So I have one, but what I did was I sent them a thousand dollars as a down payment for it. That thousand dollars is earning interest. And if I ever fuck up on the card, that thousand dollars will cover my fuck up. So at least I have that there. Um, I just, I used to be bad with credit cards. I got myself in this so much debt with credit cards. It's so easy. So it's like, yeah, I'll pay it back. You know, we'll pay it back. Yeah, doesn't happen. If you don't have the money now, you probably won't have the money later. Um, Alicia, thank you. It's been 31 days and I haven't gotten a smithing thing. What's that? Uh, Alicia? Alicia? Ninety nine cents is my limit. Yeah, like there's a few starter packages, right? And think about it this way, guys. People come and uh, they dump money on streamers, right? Uh, so that they can continue doing what they're doing because they enjoy it. Um, what's the difference of doing that in a game, really? Um, the only thing I think is stepping over the line is when you pay a price for a game. Like, let's say you pay sixty dollars for a triple A game. That is not the right container for that. Um, when you pay sixty bucks for a triple A game. And then on top of that, they have micro purchases in the game. That to me is stepping over the line. Either give it to us for free and make the 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 pay to win people or the pay pay to play people pay to win whatever. Um, make the pay to play people pay for the game, right? But don't do both because that's fucking ridiculous. You know what I mean? Sixty bucks for a lot of people is still sixty fucking dollars. That's a lot of money. Oh shoot! I forgot to grab steel while we're up there. Bang. Uh, from what I understand, Red Dead, Re and this was just told to me, so I'm not, um, I'm not doing this off of knowledge. Uh, but apparently, Red Dead Redemption 2 has micro purchases in it. Not cool. Give the game away for free. If you're gonna do micro purchases, give the game away for free. One or the other. Any other streams today? I might come back later tonight and do um, a Lord's Mobile um, stream. Uh, there's one guild I would like to give a pounding to that's been bugging us lately, and it's that smaller one, guys. Um, what's their name again? That one that's sitting, like, two of them right outside our um, guild? Uh, but I do, guys, have a $100 code for you guys to start out with in Lords Mobile. Um, so make sure... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if the, the stream thing's still on telling you guys about Lords Mobile. It might, might not be. Um, but my most recent video actually has the code and everything in it, so you can use it up. But make sure you use that code, guys. Um, like I said, they might want to be willing to permanently sponsor me. And honestly, guys, like a lot of people are like, oh, don't do that, don't do that. Guys, if they permanently sponsor me, you know what that would do? That would make me be able to do YouTube videos and not have to worry about ads. So if you guys can tolerate two or three videos a week of Lords Mobile and not have to watch ads on your 7 Days to Die videos, it's a pretty good trade-off. And that's actually what I'm aiming for. And it could buy that second hardware as well. Um, people have actually been donating to my uh, my quick starter. I was actually, re or um, quick starter. Oh my God, my GoFundMe. I was actually pretty surprised by that. Okay, let's start tearing out the floor here. Um, I haven't made a video or anything about it yet, but um, we're up to 70 bucks on there already. 
do it and ads well the thing about youtube man um it's all about retention as well right the more ads you have in your video the less retention you're gonna get and the less your ads play so by overdoing it with ads you actually end up harming your revenue right because if you're delivering a lot of ads and people are leaving on them youtube starts delivering cheaper ads to you right because um the big guys the big sponsors the ones who pay a lot of money for ads uh they want their viewers to watch the ads so if you do one ad and they display those um, oh i forgot to get steel again and they display um those guys on your ad that'll pay more than adding in three cheesy ads that interrupt your video through the whole video and on top of that people won't leave your video when an ad pops up so having less ads on your content is actually a really really good thing i didn't monetize my content until we hit 5,000 subs and i was averaging 10,000 views a day um until then i didn't I didn't monetize. There's no point. I wasn't going to be making any money off of it anyways. Um, I was losing views um, because people are just clicking through on ads. So like if, if you guys want to start a channel, do not worry about ads. Do not put ads on your channel until your channel is ready for it. Um, that is the best way to grow a channel ad free because you get super um, view time on them. Uh, Cause like even me, sometimes if I'm casually watching a video on the side and the sound is low, and then all of a sudden the sounds really, really loud because the commercial came on that draws my attention to the video. And I usually skip it um, just just out of habit. Right. Because I don't want to hear the loudness. I'm just like skip. And then I go on to the next video. Um, that's what happens when you when you deliver too many on them. I don't get ads most of the time. I always assume. Um, see, that's not it either, dude. That's not it either. Some uh, some places. Like the America is the best, the best place. Um, the American viewers are the ones that make us money, right? That, that's just simply how it is. Um, there's places like Spain. Spain has very little ad revenue. Like their their ad revenue is insanely low. And on top of that, their ads displays are insanely low. So if you have like a whole bunch of Spanish fans, you actually won't get a lot of um, ad displays, right? Because there's no advertisers in Spain paying a lot to advertise because there's a lot of open ad space there. So that's kind of how that works because a lot of like my European viewers are like man I never get um, ads on your stuff and I'm like well, it's just because it's probably where you're from Not 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 um, not every country advertises like the States does um, The States is very advertiser heavy like very advertiser heavy I splurge for red so I keep forgetting the annoyance of ads. Oh TS Forest dude man as a content creator dude I fucking love you for that dude I love YouTube Red. As a content creator, if I can get all of my subs to get YouTube Red, um, I wouldn't have to run ads on my videos whatsoever. YouTube Red per view pays like 10 times more per view than ads do because how it works, right, is you don't get paid per ad view, you get paid per watch time. So if you watch a 40 minute video of mine and you go and watch a five minute video of someone else's, I get way more of a cut of your YouTube ad revenue or your YouTube Red revenue than the other guy does. And that's good. That's the way it should be. It stops clickbait. It stops three minute fucking videos. Oh my God, I hate those three minute videos. Just junk videos to get you to click on them uh, for the ad view. Uh, doesn't bother me quickly, but come across someone who has ads every five minutes. That pisses me off too. Honestly, that pisses me off when I see like the large content creators and they have a 30 minute video and there's five fucking ads in it. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Do some research. Like you're big enough to know that this is not a good idea. Uh, Claudia, is this game almost like Minecraft? Just um, asking, wanted to get the game for the hell of it. Um, Claudia, if you're a builder, you're going to love this game. Um, but this game also has a heavy survival aspect to it. Um, so you have every seven days um, you get a horde night and what happens is you just get piles and piles and piles of zombies that come after you right and in the normal world there's uh, zombies as well um, but listen to this okay play the game the way you want to play it if you don't enjoy the survival challenge of having zombies and stuff always constantly attacking you and, and crap like that you can turn zombies off you don't need them Right? Play the game you want to. Um, I would suggest going around and looking at videos and different people's play styles of Seven Days to Die. Me, I'm a builder. Um, so I end up building a lot, right? Um, but I do like the survival aspect, so I keep the zombies and everything in. Uh, you can make the zombies always run. You can make the zombies always walk. Right now, I have zombies walk during the day and they run at night. 
Um, there's so many options. Um, it's all like it is. It is like Minecraft in the way that it has a voxelized world. Like the world itself is voxelized, but it's not like Minecraft simply because it is ten, ten, ten times the game that Minecraft is. Um, it has ten times the content, ten times more of the ability to build. It has physics. If if you're if you're nerdy like me, if you're nerdy like me, and um, you think that floating stuff should just not exist, then you'll love Seven Days to Die. Uh, this house could collapse. Like, if I went and took out those two pillars right there, this whole ceiling thing would come down on me because it wouldn't have enough support. Um, so, like, this, it is like Minecraft in the basics as a box game. But it sets itself a world apart from Minecraft. And this is coming from a player who started off Minecraft. Um, this game actually stole me away from Minecraft. It's great. I love this game so much. Uh, I hate it when ads cut you off right about when uh, say something or in the middle of them saying something. See, Lucas, I do too, man. A hundred percent, I hate it, dude. Because honestly, you know how I do my my ads, man. I go back to my edited video. I or or um, if I haven't written it down, um, I go to my edited video, and I look at the timestamps. Right? I go, okay. Um, well, I do have um, like a, a crossfade, right? Like I'll go to a crossfade where I, you know, I, I, I'm like, okay, guys, I'm gonna go do this, and then I, when I come back, what I do is I, I'll throw the ad right in between that crossfade. It doesn't always land perfectly, um, but I try my best so that it doesn't interrupt me in, in the middle of saying something. That always got to me too, man. That to me is just lazy, right? Lazy, lazy, lazy. It takes two seconds to go and look at how you edit the video and where the time slot would be for uh, putting your ad in. Uh, before, when I was making my older style Let's Plays, what I used to do was I, I used to sit down uh, before making the Let's Play, and I used to go, I want to get this, this, and this done during the Let's Play. And then what I would do is almost script it, right? Like, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to get this, this, and this done, then we'll come back and we'll talk about this, this, and this. And I have X amount of time to fill in before an ad break. And then I used to say, hey, we'll be right back after this ad, right? And I'll come back and then do another 10 minutes feel after doing stuff. Um, but we switched more to a, a more organic where I just, if something happens, I talk about it while it's happening and I cut back in. Um, and to me, it's actually a little bit of a better let's play. But um, I had to sacrifice saying, hey, you know, here comes an ad because I didn't have the ability to do it. So I still make that effort, though, to go and make sure that I insert a mid-roll ad during um, one, of those, one of those times. Because, yeah, I get it, man. I get it. I'm a YouTube viewer as well, right? Um, I'd love to hear Seven Days described as Minecraft specifically for the own. Uh, yeah, see, describing Minecraft for uh, describing this game as Minecraft for adults is kind of like describing Call of Duty as Doom for adults, right? Okay, but still. You know what I mean? Just because they're the same type of game doesn't mean they're the same so I, I i don't think that's necessarily true damn it i didn't grab i didn't grab all the um <sighs> let's stay screw it let's go and get some more resources here guys we need tons and tons of resources but yeah no it's um in, in the base world yeah it, it's 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 like minecraft where you can break stuff and destroy the whole world um but it's it separates itself in those other ways shit am i out of gas oh no i'm not we have lots of gas Lots of gas. Let's get that going here. Bam. I'll try to bet my son at this game, and we'll see who wins. Uh, it's who wins. It's uh, <laughs> it would say um, it's more of like an open world like Minecraft, so there really is no technical winning. In in that sense, let's um, let's refuel this bitch. Here we go. Oh, and just as a warning, what you're seeing on your screen right now is a very modified version of the game. Uh, so some stuff that you may see in this, you may not see in the vanilla version of the game. So just keep that in mind, too. Like, I have some custom zombies, some custom items, that kind of stuff. Um, but that's, that's the thing, too, is this game has a ton of mods. Once you get bored of vanilla play, you can go back and play some mods. It'll change up the, the gameplay greatly for you, right? If you want a harder gameplay, there's mods to make it harder. Um, if you want to rebalance, there's a lot of mods that rebalance. Settler's mod, the one I'm playing right now, my mod, is a rebalance mod. That's what I like to call it. There's overhaul mods that completely change how the game works. Um, is it like in that sense, then yeah, yeah, like like you guys said, it's like Minecraft. Minecraft works the same way, right? Tons of mods, keeps the game going. 
Uh, my game is set on never run zombies should never run. <laughs> See though, you know what? I'm not one of those superior fuck players who think you should play the game this way and this is the only way you should play this game. And you're all pussy if you do it any other way. To me, gaming is about having fun. I challenge myself in real life. I challenge myself to get stuff done in real life. I don't mind being challenged in video games. Um, but I'd rather throw that effort that I would put into playing challenging video games, quote unquote, into my real life, right? Um, I think that's where the difference is. I come to a video game to have fun. And that is why I'm, I'm the way I am on my channel and why I have no problem um, putting entitlement in its place. Um, that's why, also too, why I won't get pushed around on my channel. It pisses off a lot of people when I tell them what what, but I don't care, honestly. I do what I want. You guys are here. You can come along for the ride. Um, I'm giving you a free ride. You can enjoy it, or I can let you off at the next stop, whichever whichever you wish. Okay, let's go this way. Because I, I think I'm going to be doing another Lord's Mobile this stream. It's not paid. I'm not getting paid for it. I'm doing it because I want to, right? Um, we're having a blast in that game, actually, and um, it's really easy for me to communicate with the uh, the other guildies um, when we're all in the same stream, actually. We've been doing it on Twitch, too, and we've been able to organize really well because, um, obviously, I'm the leader, right? So if you can hear your leader um, in real time on a mobile game, damn, you're laughing. And a lot of us have PCs already because um, a lot of us are PC players, so we all have um, emulators on our PC which also gives us a huge bonus. Um, if you guys want to play a mobile game, if you're serious about it, get an emulator so that you can play it on home on your PC. The advantage of how quick you're able to navigate around the GUI is so much better. Okay, um, Titus dude, if you want to join us, that's cool, man. Um, if there's ever a time, dude, you find you're having a problem, let me know, man. All right, just let me know. Uh, make sure you use that code too to get the hundred dollars worth of free stuff. Why not? All right. Um, I mean, a uh, some some people too were like, "Oh, that's lame. They're giving you a code, so all your guildies have a, have a code." Well, that's not very cool. Um, the funny thing is, is if you go and look up on YouTube, um, sponsored um, Lord's Mobile stream, uh, there's quite a few people out there that have their own codes, and you can go and use theirs. You know what I mean? Like. Um, instead of bitching, be smart about it, right? Go and find a content creator that has a code and use it. I always do that, guys. Anytime I buy something, I go online and see if I can find a discount code, if I can find anything, right? Um, I, I would have on Lord's Mobile. I would have used somebody else's code if, you know, I wasn't relying on my own. <laughs> Am I ever going to play Rust? Angel, that is actually a really great, great, great question because I do, after playing Lord's Mobile, um, it's got that pvp bite coming back again um i love pvp man um but only on pvp games and rust is a great pvp game um I, i'm thinking about bringing it back because uh did they get the building update yet did rust get the building update is that a thing okay see you later ben have a good one man hey bayron valdez how you doing buddy welcome back um, see, that's the thing though, right? At the same time, on my channel, I only like to run two different Let's Plays. Because um, you can soak your channel and your viewers and your viewer base if you release too much, right? You're just making more videos and getting the same amount of, um, same amount out of it. Because uh, you're spreading your views out. So, um, I'm, I'm seriously, guys, like, I want to continue my PS4 uh, Let's Play. But at the same time, I'm honest with you guys. I'm getting burnt out. I'm really getting burnt out. And at the same time as being burnt out, getting bitched at for being burnt out is burning me out faster on it. Um, so I'm giving it this week for my PS4 Let's Play just to kind of see how the, uh, the field reacts to uh, my most recent uh, YouTube post. Um, I've gotten pretty much what exactly I expected out of that YouTube post I posted recent, um, earlier. Um, the viewers who are, are more open-minded and don't think that um, they are the reason every content creator is a content creator. Um, honestly, guys, I appreciate, I love my community. Every single one of you knows that. I support you guys in and out. But if I didn't make quality content, you guys fucking wouldn't watch it. So it works both ways, right? And uh, we got a few viewers like that today who thinks it, it's only because of them watching free content that they exist, which is slightly true, but it's not the whole story. You don't watch content creators that make shit content. 
why would you do that? You know what I mean? It works both ways. Works both ways. So I, I did that little post today just to do a little bit of a cleanup because my console side was getting really bad. I couldn't do a live stream without 10 comments from console fans, like just flaming on it, right? And it's like, guys, don't like it, don't click on it. What do you do with TV shows? TV shows take breaks in between seasons. Um, they take breaks uh, mid-season. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a normal thing. So what I might do after this week is um, do like a mid-season finale for PS4 and just, just put it down for a while. It's not worth getting frustrated over. Uh, if you're burned out, take a break from it. Yep, that's what I mean. And I've been trying to, uh, but the level of entitlement from some viewers, it makes it hard because anytime I release anything else, these stupid freaking fucking console viewers are all over it, watch two seconds of the video, downvote on it, and then run away and keep doing it until I make a video they want to see, right? And that honestly does not help a channel out at all. Um, the downvote I can care less about, but the one second view is killer, right? So if I could push more of those people out or tend to do that type of stuff, because I have 75k subs, honestly, I could be happy with 10k. If 10k people watch my videos all the time, my channel's doing just as well as it was doing with um, 70k, right? Yeah, Cat Leslie says, I'd much rather you took a break and come back happy and refreshed. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you got we're, we're not machines. People tend to forget that. We're we're not here to do what you want specifically, right? Uh, I wonder how they had so entitled how on earth do their brain things. Well, th that's the thing. We got to understand where they're coming from too, right? A lot of these people, um, they watch content creators that have millions and millions of subs. And these content creators are, they're out there and they're, they're doing what they're, they want to do, right? They want to be, they want to be big content creators and they want to have uh, millions of subs and they want to make millions of dollars and, and they're doing it well. And how these guys run is they ask their audience, you know, if you don't want to see this content, dislike it. If you want to see your content, like it. So a lot of viewers are trained to download content they don't want to see. Um, but I, I think I make it pretty specific in most of my content that, you know, if you don't want to see it, just don't click on it. Um, but that's where most of that training is coming from, right? Where I'm different as I could, I couldn't give a shit. Um, if I can have enough to eat and stay in my house, as long as I'm enjoying what I'm doing, I go watch these content creators playing these top games and they're not happy. You can see it in their faces. They're like, I don't want to play this, but I'm playing it and I'm going to fake smile and I'm going to fake scream and yell and everyone's going to like it. I don't want to be that guy. I just, I don't. I don't want to burn out on something I love doing at all. Uh, is Rust on Xbox? No, Rust is only on PC. Uh, Rust has actually been along for a long, around for a long time. Uh, I do have it, but seriously, guys, I am actually considering if I do take PS4 down for a little while, I might make it like a mid-season finale on Friday. Just explain to people gently, you know what I mean? I'm burnt out. You guys have to understand that. Um, I'm not, I don't want to end PS4 content because honestly, I do like playing my PS4. I like picking it up and playing a stable game. Um, but getting burnt out. I have over a thousand let's plays guys. Think about that one, right? A thousand let's plays. You do something a thousand times and then have someone tell you to keep doing it or they're going to come and dislike your videos and then try not to get upset, right? My game is always dropping. Oh, yeah. Um, I will admit, guys, the console version of Seven Days to Die is not a great version. It has a lot of bugs. Um, on PS4, it works perfectly fine. Like, you guys, I have, I have, what, three seasons now? Or four seasons now on PS4? We're on season four? One, two, or three. Oh, God, I can't even remember now. Um, but... Um, I have a lot of content on it. And that's what I tell people too, right? Like I'll tell them. I'm like, guys, if you're so hard up for my next episode, I have two other seasons with like 200 episodes. Go watch those seasons. You know what I mean? Still an awesome game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rust, Rust, Rust is a good game. Um, I definitely want to give it a go again because PvP is fun. And um, a lot of my community, like I have a few community members that are heavily uh, involved in Rust. And this is where I love my community because my community is not, okay. Best way to explain it, my community is not a bunch of fans. They're a bunch of friends, okay? And if your friend is pissing you off, you tell your friend to fuck off, right? You know what I mean? So you're not fans to me, you're friends, okay? And I'll treat you like a friend. That's how that goes. Best way to put it. 
I think that's actually the perfect way to put it. And sometimes you need your friends to tell you that you're being a fucking moron, right? And yeah, you might hate your friend a little while for doing it, um, but they're probably fucking right. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's why you gotta have them. Uh, console needs new content. No, console doesn't need new content, dude. Um, I, I don't know why you guys are so hard up on content. Um, you know what you get when you ask for content, content, content? You get a broken ass game like Ark. Hey, let's go up here and do this. Okay, I gotta catch up with some follows here, guys. We got a whole bunch of follows. What are the red and green materials for? Oh, you must be talking about... Um, oops, I gotta go down the bottom. My bad. Okay, I'm gonna catch up with the follows here. Uh, Sean, Jeremiah, The Frosting, Kyle, Van Sack I, and Sean Craven. Welcome to the channel, guys. Thanks for your subs. I like to catch up with them every once in a while. Uh, what these are is... Uh, this is part of the, uh, the rebalance. What I've done is I've actually lowered your XP for grinding and gathering and killing zombies and all that crap. But in turn, what you gather by using... Um, uh, you have to use um, mining tools, so anything above iron. Uh, you get ore coins and stone coins. Um, remind me when we go back. I'll try to remember. We'll use some up because I actually have a good amount now. Um, but what you do is you, you turn them in and uh, you get rewards and stuff out of them, right? Like you get extra materials, um, a chance to get diamonds, which you need to build your traps, that type of deal. There's no... I thought I saw one over here. Am I being blind? Yeah, I'm being blind. My bad. Uh, we have miner over there. We have... What do we have over here? Nothing. Okay, let's go this way. Uh, do you remember when you used to play Minecraft? Yeah, yeah, I used to play Minecraft. And honestly, guys, I have nothing bad to say about Minecraft. Minecraft 100% is the original alpha game done fucking right. Every single dev should look at Minecraft and be like, we need to do the same thing. Minecraft is like the game when it comes to being an independent developer. Not anymore because they sold it to Microsoft, but I mean, the way they got there is the way to fucking do it, right? Uh, not by charging $30 for your half-finished game in early alpha. Um, but by slowly raising the price as the game became more valuable so that you can hire more people and do more things. Instead of just raising the price and then living off the money. You invest more in your... <gasps> okay. If you ever come across one of these assholes right here, this is an extremely, extremely rare spawn. This guy's name here, this little guy over here, this is Curious George, okay? Curious George is curious, but he's big. Okay, so when he comes over to give you a SWAT to investigate, um, he can one-shot you. So if you ever find one of these out in the world, avoid them like crazy. Um, he's pretty mad. Let's see here. Let's let's give him a, let's give him a little bit of a drive-by to see what he looks like. Cause um, not many people have actually seen this guy. This is actually the first time I've come across one, naturally in the landscape. There we go. What's up, Curious George? You gonna chase me? Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh, and there's a bro, too. We got a bro in on the deal. There we go. We got a bro and a Curious George running after me. He's like... No escape. Oh, there's escape. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, now, you can take that guy down if you have, like, a sniper rifle and something from a distance. But I really wouldn't recommend trying until you're really high level. <laughs> I have I found a new bunker that I've never found in over a year and six games. I was in multiplayer. Oh, did you find one of the bunkers? How many more sponsors to get the new emote? I do believe we only need four more sponsors for another emote. Man, I can't wait to get on the PC and get this mod then. I build huge bases on PS4, but I really want a PC so I can see all my old base building increase. Dude. Not only can you come on PC, like this guy's is, you have to rem remember, what you're seeing right now is on a $4,000 PC, right? Um, so everything is jacked to the max, okay? Um, not every single PC will be able to do this. Um, what I spent on it was ludicrous, but with what I do, it was more of an investment. Um, but if you like building, dude, if you like building houses, and you know the one thing that's always frustrated you, that you, you just, there's some stuff that you can't build, in Settler's Mod, you can build everything. If it's in the creative menu as a buildable, you can build it in the game. You want an information center sign? You can build yourself an information center sign. Uh, if you want the Navisgain National Park sign, 
you can build yourself a Nav Navis Gay National Park sign. Um, what other stuff is there? There's, um, I'm trying to think off the bat, some really cool stuff that you guys can build. Um, what have I tried to think of? Oh, yes, if you want to make yourself um, a room full of electronics and like televisions to make yourself look like a control room, I think it's under console. Oh, no. Ah, here we, oh, wait, what's it under again? Control panel, there we go. Um, I put everything in here, like you, your conduits. Um, you can build conduits. Uh, you can build control panels if you want to. Like literally anything that's in the creative menu has a recipe in it for in survival. Um, those little pipes, you can make them. Um, I did that in alpha 15 actually, and then rebalanced again in alpha 16. It took me all of alpha 15 to, to build that whole recipe list. <laughs> but there's literally over 700 different recipes added in the settlers mod. Um, you want to make yourself a specific set of clothes. Uh, you can make yourself a red set of clothes. Like let's say you wanted um, a red hat, red pants, red flannel shirt. Go ahead and do it. But the trade-off is you can't sell them to the trader. Um, so yeah, you can make yourself like a red suit if you want to. Um, you can make blue stuff if you want to. There's just there's shitloads of stuff you guys can build. Um, if you guys want to see someone, or a, a, a couple of guys who have used my mod to its full extent, um, you guys got to check out Bearded Guys Gaming. Oh, if you guys want to see something really cool, you can make power poles in Settlers Mod. Like, legit power poles. Okay, you know what? I haven't ever gone in a creative menu or anything here. We're going to go into it, and I just want to show you guys um, um, how the power poles work. Okay, so uh, we're going to need here. Uh, what you want to do is you want to look up pole top. Here we go. Pole top um, one. It's actually going to be in your recipes here as well. Uh, pole top. Pull. Whoa, I just took a screenshot. Uh, you want your pull top. Here you go. You can make it in the recipes. Take some pipes, electrical parts, mechanical parts, and some wood, right? Um, so what you do is you make yourself... I can probably actually scrap some here. Uh, we'll look up pull. Holy crap, where did it go? Oh, no, it's pillar. I'm sorry. It's under pillar. Here we go. We'll make a... Uh, wait, where did the small wood pillars go? What are they under? Oh, is it under power? Oh, wow. Is it not in the game? It should be in here. Okay, we got the pole tops and crap. Okay, what's it What's it called? What's it called? Um, we're going to look it up. Pillar. Oh, okay. You know what? It, it is in the game. It's just not in the game as a specific block anymore. Because, like, you could take the, uh, the normal pillars and paint them. That's... Okay, yeah, that's right. I took them out because you could take the normal pillars and just paint them. Just to save some blocks. Or it's just to save some space. Um, but basically, once you got those pole tops, like, pretend we're at the top here. Uh, once you got your pole tops, you can go and plant that on there. So you're like, oh, okay. Well, that's cool. You know, you, you have yourself, like, a power pole looking thing, right? Um, but... What am I low on food? Damn it. Okay, we'll have to go back home here soon. Um, but let's say you actually want to string power now, right? Okay, here's a trick. Here's a trick. Uh, you want to go... Oh, my God. I can't even remember the name of it right now. I'm sweating like a motherfucker, guys. I think my mind grain's coming back. Me um... and <sighs> my character's hungry. Damn it. Why can I not remember the name of it? Oh, boy, guys. I need your help on this one. <laughs> what do you call the block that transfers electricity that's just simply like um that joins them together i cannot think right now oh my god relay yes thank you very much thank you very much um man don't do drugs kids seriously uh electrical wire relay there we go we'll get some of these going whoa okay i'll get rid of those yeah i'm not keeping any of this stuff here we're just gonna toss it i'm just doing this in this play because i want to show you guys this because it's, it's it's real cool uh so what you do is you uh you rotate the sucker around we're gonna get um the advanced rotation and what you can do bam there you go go straight 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 there you go is you can actually attach these to the end like that and then you can string your power from one to the other uh now there's like a maximum of 10 blocks you can push it a little further by going in between them um, but if you were to go to your skills, and this is a very, very high level skill, okay? Uh, you go to your mayor's skills, and it actually unlocks um, um, a wiring tool that allows you to actually wire further. So it gives you um, one and a half times your wiring distance, uh, so that when you have a big village and you're high level, you can actually go and make like all your power lines going through your city. And there's also an item called um, Town Generator. Uh, that's also unlocked with mayor at level 315. Um, what this does is it pumps out a crap load of electricity, a crap load of electricity. 
Um, because the problem is right now is you can't join multiple um, generators into the same line. So people with big builds and many people, um, there's uh, generators all over the place. So once you become a mayor, you can build a town generator and produce a whole bunch of power and spread it out to everybody around town. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of stuff like this in Settlers Mod that you can do. Like, and it looks freaking cool, too. I don't know if you guys are on my Twitter, but I posted a few pictures of, like, what it actually looks like when it's all said and done. Okay, so I'm going to toss these, this stuff out here. Um, we're obviously going to turn off our creative menu and our debug menu. We don't want any of that. And we're going to hop on my mini bike here and uh, head on back home. Now, guys, um, I, 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 I'm assuming dragon, you mean condominium. Um, I'm going to go back home here and I think we're going to call it a street for now. I'm, I'm kind of feeling my migraine come back on a little bit. So if I can go and, um, get like a shot of Java in me, um, I'll be fine. Um, the re the only time I actually end up with my migraines is if they start before I wake up. Um, usually coffee nips them in the buds right away. If I drink a bunch of coffee, um, but I, I'm starting to feel it come back. So I should probably go and take care of that. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, guys, I think we're going to end it here. Uh, hopefully, I'll be back tonight. We'll do some Lords of Mobile. If you guys haven't joined me on that yet, definitely join it on me. Thanks for listening to me rant, too, guys. And thanks for appreciating that, um, you know, I'm a human being. I get frustrated. And sometimes uh, stuff just needs to be said. And uh, thanks for having some thick skin with that as well. It's caffeine addiction. No, um, Jesse, what it, what it is is um, I, I get abdominal migraines, dude like serious abdominal migraines man where it's like it, it goes on for a couple of hours like and then i i sweat like it, it oh man it's the most horrible feeling in the world dude um thank god though i don't get the head migraines because i can still function with a um a stomach or with an abdominal migraine like i could still move around i can still do things like movement doesn't make me nauseous um but it, it's literally it feels like having someone stand there and just repeatedly punch you punch you in the stomach for two hours straight like it's it, oh man it fucking hurts dude um but it's getting me abs doctor doesn't know what the fuck to do about it they're like uh she's, she's like just try to drink coffee as fast as you can um because it works right if i get enough coffee in me then then it usually goes away um but anyways enough about me guys once again i do want to say thank you to you guys you guys have been an amazing community especially through a whole bunch of like different things and everything and uh, you guys are great i will see you back probably tonight maybe around, i'm gonna schedule a stream for around 7 p.m uh for lords mobile if you guys are interested you can come check it out if not you don't have to click on the video <laughs> love you guys have a good one and uh i'm gonna exit the game because i hear a whole bunch of zombies right outside my base i don't feel like dealing with them right now but have a good one guys and i'll see you probably back at seven here peace out enjoy the uh enjoy the end stream if i can get to it where's the end stream <laughs> Here we go. All right, guys. Have a good one. Peace.